Hey, my name is Gabriel, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the air filter of your R9T scrambler. It's part of the 12,000 mile service. You'll just need a few tools a Torx T30, a Torx T45, and a Torx T25. Start by putting your bike up on a stand. You can probably get by with using your side stand if you can keep your handlebars straight. I'm going to use my stand just in case. And in case you were wondering what this Torx bit on your key is for, it's for your seat. Go ahead and remove it. Next, we'll displace the battery leads and the seat mounting bracket. Clip the cable tie and remove the two screws. Remove the seat support brackets on each side. It's secured by two Torx bolts. Remove them completely and set it aside. Remove the air intake duct cover. It's secured by two Torx T25 bolts and a spring clip. Here's a look at the spring clip. You just need to pull out on it to release the cover from the air intake opening. Locate the screw on the basic module holder. Remove the screw securing the module holder and note how the tabs slide into those silver clips. Locate the bolts securing each side of the tank. Remove the bolts on each side. If your keys are in the ignition, remove them now, and you'll need a piece of wood for this next part. I used what I had that was laying around, which was approximately 8 inches by 12 inches piece of plywood. Lift up the front of the tank, which is going to pivot on this connection where the module holder was located. Continue lifting and slide your piece of wood under the tank and on top of the ignition switch and handlebars. Let the mounting tabs of the tank rest on the wood. Here's a look at the tank now that it's up. Just want to add that I'm doing this with an almost empty tank. I waited until my fuel level hit the reserve to minimize the weight of the tank. Over on the right side of the bike, behind the air intake duct, is where the air filter is located. Note the clips securing the intake duct and the cable tie securing the wiring loom. You'll need to clip the cable ties in order to remove the air intake duct. The intake duct also has a peg that goes through a grommet on the frame. Just pull the peg out of the grommet. Remove the air filter and carefully fit in a new one. Reinstall the intake duct, secure the clips, push the peg into the grommet, and reinstall cable ties on the wiring loom. Carefully lift the tank, remove the wood piece, and lower the tank back down. Reinstall the bolts securing the tank on each side. 19 newton meter or 14 foot pound of torque here. I actually didn't bother with the torque specs, I just tightened them down snug. 
Reinstall the basic module, noting how the tabs slide into the clips. Resecure with the single bolt. Reinstall the air intake duct cover. Next, reinstall the seat brackets on each side of the bike. I didn't really bother with the torque specs here either, I just tightened them down snug. Reconnect the battery leads and the seat mounting bracket. Again, screwed down snug. And remember to reinstall the cable tie. Finally, put the seat back on. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. I'll be performing the rest of the 12,000 mile service and other maintenance videos, so please subscribe. Thank you for watching and ride safe.